channel from RVing TV. Today we're going to try something a little bit different. Actually, we're going to try a few different things. Um, today's video is actually going to be an unboxing and mini review on the Furion Vision S camera system. Um, but when I say we're going to try something new, we're actually shooting this on a Galaxy S20 phone. Just something a little different. Usually I'm using different video cameras or DSL cameras. So I thought we'd do that a little differently today, as well as we're shooting from inside our fifth wheel. Now, no, we're not on a trip yet. It's about minus 27 outside. It's pretty cold and there's still lockdowns here in Ontario, but I wanted to bring you the video from the unit that we're actually going to install these cameras on. So uh, I'll start off by saying, if you like this video, please click the like button. Feel free to subscribe. We are trying to reach the 10,000 subscriber mark. So we'd love to have you as a subscriber. And if you press the bell down below, the uh, you'll be notified of new videos. And we're gonna be posting some new videos on accessories and some of the things we're gearing up with that we use when we travel. So today, let's talk about the Furion Vision S camera system. There are a couple of versions of them, very, very similar. There's a number of videos out on YouTube about this system with one difference. Most trailers today come equipped with the pre-wiring done for the shark fin style camera meaning that it already has the housing on the back of the unit. You simply pull a plate off, put the camera in, connect it, and you're good to go. Now this unit, even though it's a 2017, wasn't prepped with it because at the time you could order the Denali with a backup camera. It was an option. When this unit was ordered, we didn't actually order the unit with the camera. At the time, the cameras were still new. There were a variety of reviews, mixed reviews on them, so we didn't order it. And I'm glad we didn't because the newer cameras have better connectivity, better picture, and they're just an overall better system. What we've decided to do on this unit is we're gonna put a backup and side view camera. So we're gonna look at the backup camera system as well as the side view cameras here today with the unboxing video. Now, we've also chosen to go with the marker light camera. You can order the standard camera with the shark fin and install it on a trailer without the shark fin pre-wiring on it. You're just going to be drilling in and screwing into your back wall. The alternative, and I haven't seen any videos yet on YouTube, so hopefully we're bringing you something brand new, is this marker camera. And what you're doing is actually replacing an existing marker camera using its power feed and connections for the camera itself. Now, the Vision S comes in a few various systems. You can buy backup and side views together as a kit. You can buy them separately, and that's nice because if you're on a limited budget and want a backup camera, get the backup camera. Later on, you decide you want side cameras, get the side cameras. And I'll explain later in the video why we're doing side cameras. These are also available in a 4.3 inch screen, a five inch screen, and a seven inch screen. This is the seven inch model. So let's open up the package and we'll get started. Uh, yes, in case someone's noticing, I'm not cutting the package. I like to pull it back and I just prepped that a little bit. So we're gonna open this up, we're gonna turn her around, and I'll pull out some of the accessories to show you what comes in the kit. So first thing you're going to see is your monitor. That's the seven inch monitor, you'll notice nice and large. Now a couple of things you need to know if you're considering these backup cameras. The 4.3 inch system is only good for backup camera only. When you go to 5.3 or the 7, you can integrate side cameras and or even a door camera. So if you wanted, you can get a kit that has 
backup camera, side door camera, and side cameras on it. Or you can get the side camera later. With a 5.3 and a 7 inch screen, you can have all four cameras on this, or only the three, or only the one. It has much more flexibility between the 5, 3, and the 7 inch screens. I've gone with the 7 because when I travel down the road and I'm traveling long distances, I want a big screen that I can see each of the cameras in nice and clearly. And you'll notice there's our antenna on the back. Now, having looked at that, let's take a look what else they're going to give us. And I'm going to just set this all aside. Now, next thing you'll get, uh, there's two components here. The first one I'm pulling out. This is actually a stand to mount the camera because depending on how you install it in your unit, you can actually use this and place it inside your unit when you're camping. And if you've wired your cameras to be live all the time, then you can actually use them as observation cameras so you have your blinds pulled down, you hear something outside, whether you're at a campground or this becomes especially nice if you're in a truck stop, a Walmart, as you're traveling from location to location and you don't want to get off the beaten path, you can actually use this to see what's around you without having to peek through blinds, opening up blinds or curtains to peek through. So that's a nice little feature. Then, of course, you're going to have your windshield or dash mount. So, of course, we have our suction cup. This can be mounted on a dash, can be also mounted on the windshield with the screen popping back to you. So, you have a few options there. Of course, our instruction and installation manuals. Also, what's nice is as you're shopping for this, deciding what size do I want, how many cameras, which ca camera configuration, do I want the marker light, do I want, um, you know, the shark fin. If you go on Furion's website, you can download all the installation and operation manuals right from their website. I'll post the link down below the video that'll link you to Furion's site so you can do that. And that's nice because you can sit and take a look if you're doing the installation yourself. Now in a later video, we'll actually bring you the installation video because we're pl I'm planning to do this installation myself. Not having technicians do it, not hiring someone. I'm going to do the install myself, so I'm hoping to bring you that video for the backup and the side cameras. Now here's our difference. So the shark fin camera looks just like that shark fin you have on the back of your unit. You get the casing, the camera, the whole bit. If you're only putting it into a unit that already comes from the factory with the housing, you're pulling the camera out and installing it. If you're um, going to mount it on the wall, then you're going to take that housing, you're going to find a mounting place, you're going to mount it, cock around it and, and Bob's your uncle. Now what's nice with this, you'll notice you have the marker light. It's red as you notice. I'm using a, a, some backup lighting so occasionally it makes it look a little yellow but it's a red marker light and there's our camera and you have eight LEDs around it for night vision and then of course this is where your antenna is going to be mounted which is going to be down in the kit which we'll get to. But that's what it looks like, and it's a little bit different than what you're typically seeing with the standard uh, shark fin. Now, what you also get is your 12 volt, so there's our antenna, your 12 volt plug in that plugs into your cigarette lighter to power your monitor. You can also use this, as I mentioned, inside the coach. If you have a 12 volt, which a lot of RVs do, you can plug this in and use it for your monitor. Now, you'll notice the little pigtail here and your power connection. This is set up so that you can actually connect your um, 
cameras to it. In a number of cases, you can connect up your camera, sync it, pair it, uh, Bluetooth with your monitor, and that way when you install it, you know it's already working. And then there's a couple extra screws in here, and that's pretty much it. And that's basically it for our rear camera system. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to push this aside. So as I mentioned, we've gone with the 7 inch for the larger screen size because when you start putting three cameras uh, on this to view or all four cameras, because down the road might be an idea to put a door camera on. So you can see who's approaching your unit or somebody knocks on the door, you can take a quick look at it so you know who's at the door. Now, we're going to do something a little different. I haven't had a lot of people when I was selling order up side cameras. A lot of people getting backup cameras, but not a lot getting side cameras. And I think it's because we're not used to it. You know, most of today's cars have backup cameras. And they've had them for the last number of years, which is a great feature. Now, in the RV industry, we've been using backup and side cameras on motorhomes for a very long time. And hence why I'm actually going with side cameras. We're going to mount these forward on the actual fifth wheel on the Denali, and it will give us side view. And this is something I've been used to when I've been traveling with motorhomes, and I really like it. They're a little different than a motorhome system. A motorhome, you turn, you put your signal on, if you're signaling right, the screen changes to the right camera. Signal left, it changes to the left camera. On this system, when you're traveling down the road, all the cameras are active, so you can see right around you. Oddly enough, the last couple of years, a number of higher-end manufacturers in the motorhome industry have been providing consumers with camera systems that you can select. Do you want to see one camera and have it activate when you're putting a signal or your reverse on? Or you can select it to show you all three cameras all the time. Having traveled in a unit with that type of system, really convenient. Now, the big thing to remember Mirrors are your greatest friend, whether you're driving a motorhome, pulling a travel trailer, a pop-up trailer, or a big fifth wheel. Mirrors are a big key. Get used to driving it and maneuvering it by the mirrors. The cameras become extra nice that it just, if there's an odd spot, you've bumped the mirror, you're not reaching down and readjusting a mirror while you're driving. You can glance at the camera. Even more effectively is nighttime. That's where I'll tell you my experience has really helped to have cameras. Some of the US interstates, some of the Canadian highways that are really dark at night, they're not lit up. The cameras will pick up things your naked eye won't. And you'd be shocked how many times I've driven down a highway and someone didn't have their, their lights on. Now remember, daytime running lights have become popular and standard in many, many districts, but there's still older cars out there and some people don't always turn on their lights at night. And you'd be shocked how many times a camera has picked up a car that in the pitch black darkness your naked eye wouldn't normally see because there's nothing to reflect in the dark. But that camera, the, the infrareds, will reflect off marker lights, pick up that vehicle when you least expect it, and in the driving rain. Sometimes I've been in rain that is so hard, you look in your mirror and you have to take two, three looks to see if there's a vehicle there because the rain is just pouring down and you have wind and rain swirling around your unit. Again, the camera's given that extra comfort. So let's take a look at this camera system. Comes in a nice neat box. As I mentioned, you can actually buy a kit that everything comes together for one price. Now, we didn't do that for two reasons. One, 
when we went and spoke to our connections in the industry, they didn't have it available. It wasn't in stock at the time. The other reason I didn't is I was curious and I went out and priced the backup system and the cameras separate and compared it to the price of the kit. We were able at the time that we were doing this, and it may have been because they were out of stock, at the time, buying these as two separate pieces, which are identical to the kit, was about $50, $60 less than the entire kit. So yeah, I like to be a little frugal. You can save $60, why not? So let's take a look at what we get here. So we're going to open up this package. First thing you're going to notice, again, instruction manuals. We're going to lift up this little insert. And what we have inside, some screws. And then we actually have our cameras. So I'll pull one out at a time. And that way you can get a closer look. So these are now amber lights. We've got our wiring out back. And, sorry, just putting those back. And then our side camera. So uh, this camera will actually be our passenger side camera because the camera faces back. Um, these do actually pull apart so you can install this and then the camera will snap. Let's see if I can. Oh, there's, screw, there's a little screw in the back. So these will pull apart. You install your marker light, the camera slides in, you secure it, and you'll notice that the camera, I'll point it towards you here so you can see, the camera will be pointing back and it's on an angle, so it's actually out. So if we had it this way, your camera is pointing out this way down the side of the unit to get you a really good view. And we have, there's 12 infrareds on the marker light. So you actually have more infrared lights on your marker light than you have on your backup camera. And then your driver's side camera, looks identically the same. So there's our driver side with our marker light and again there's our camera with our infrareds down here and again that will be installed onto the side of the trailer pointing backwards showing us down along the side of it. So great little system. Um, we will try to bring you an installation video if we have an opportunity to uh, do it inside in a shop. We'll bring that to you and that way you'll be able to um, you'll be able to see the installation itself. And these are supposed to be really easy to, to put together and they should be phenomenal. Then in the spring, the summer, we'll look to bring you a video after having some real world use, but I think these are a fantastic investment and should be worth every penny. They're not inexpensive, but they're not super expensive. Plus remember, if you're traveling on your own, which I'm gonna be doing a bit of, and you don't have a partner with you, these cameras become indispensable. It's great if you're a couple and you're traveling, you know, how many of us have asked our spouse to go out and spot for us? However, I'm also getting the camera system, and you can laugh at this, because this is a marriage saver. So if you're new to RVing, and you have not started traveling yet, and you're shopping for a trailer, or you have just bought a trailer, do your spouse a favor. So... This is not necessarily aimed at the ladies. I'm talking to the guys here. Sorry if I sound chauvinistic, but in a lot of the units that I've sold, I have a number of ladies that drive, but a lot of times it's the guy who wants to drive. And I'm gonna tell you guys, this is a marriage saver because I don't care how long you've been married, 
ask a number of RVers that are couples and ask them how much they enjoy spotting each other for backing up their units. And I'm going to tell you, you will be shocked that you probably will not find someone that goes, oh yeah, we can do it, no problem. I've heard people using radios, everything. And you'd be shocked how many times I've seen units come in for repairs because they backed into a tree, backed into a rock, and yet there was a spotter. So this will be a marriage saver for you guys out there because usually the ladies handle it differently than we do. We tend to get a little more upset, get a little more excited when someone's not calling back how far we are. No point in doing a ton of work. Remember, the RV lifestyle is about living the good life, enjoying life. It's not about creating work. So there's a number of tools and accessories you can use to save you time, money, aggravation. Sometimes, not always a money savings, because they cost money to buy, but will save you a lot of aggravation and you'll enjoy what you're doing. So if you like the video, again, please click the like button, subscribe uh, to our channel. We're trying to get to 10,000 people. Tell your friends about us. If you have comments or suggestions, there's an accessory you'd like to see, let me know and I'll see what I can do to do a video for you guys or at least have maybe a video discussion on it. And uh, we're, we're looking forward to bringing you more accessories. A little hint, we are going to bring you a video on camping accessories that you should have. That'll be coming up in the next little while, so keep an eye out for it. Bruno from RVing TV saying thank you for viewing the video. Remember to live the good life, enjoy it, and uh, I look forward to having you back at the channel. Take care.